It's been a few months since we had to bring Polar down here to the farm and let him rest. And so we're gonna go visit him really quick. No, it's okay, you can talk about it. I miss Polar. I miss Polar too. It makes me sad when I think about it. It's so sad to see those little fillings come back up. We miss Polar, huh? He was a good pop 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 Whoa, dude, what'd you find? It's a card. It's a card? I don't think so. Is that a booby player? A what? A booby trap player. <laughs> a booby trap player? How does it work? I think it's radio. It's radio. It's not radio. Look, it says Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's an Indiana Jones movie. It's a movie. How does it work? Mm -hmm. Maybe you push it in and then a uh, special push it in what? player? Push it in what? I think you're supposed to push it in the TV. Oh, those old kind of TVs. The old kind of TVs. Those big fat ones with like the antennas. But there's there's not a slot big enough for that. Look at that. That's huge. It's not like a DVD. It's called a VHS. Look, VHS. It's a tape. It's a tape. Tape. Yep. See that little bit inside of it? See that bit right there inside of it? Yeah. So that's where the movie's at. That's that's the VHS. And then it twists this thing right there, right there, mm -hmm. that piece right there, and that's how you go to the beginning of the movie, or the end of the movie, rewind. I grew up on these, I grew up on VHS tapes. Mom said she's carrying me over to Polar. Okay, let's go. You do it? No. <laughs> let's go see Popo Po. It's been a few months since um, we had to bring Polar down here to the farm and let him rest. And so we're gonna go visit him really quick and see how he's doing. Have you guys wondered how how the grave site has done and, and if the uh, if the little heart and the, the I Love Polar is still on there? Have you guys wondered that, Danielle? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go check and see if that's on there. I think we should get a permanent grave marker for him. What do you guys think? Something that we can maybe put on there that we can remember him in a little bit different way, I think we should. Let the horse out. Right, then open up that gate. But don't let the horse out. No, no, no. Send it. Send it. We just let the horse out of the gate. <laughs> See if we can get her back in here. Good job, Danielle. Good job, Danielle. Wow. That was impressive. That horse was not wanting to go back in, getting pretty stubborn, but Danielle walked over and said, come on, please. Walked, walked him right back in. That was awesome. I can barely see some lines. I see my heart. heart I drew that. You draw that as? Yep. Where are we at? We are at Popo. We're at Popo's grave, huh? Mm hmm. How to read the red hand. Really? Yep. Okay, everybody say bye, Popo. Bye, bye, bye Popo. Popo. See you next time. Come on, buddy. You want to say hi bye to Polar? No? You don't want to? What's wrong? Nothing. No, it's okay. You can talk about it. Nothing. Do you miss Popo? Trying to get my real voice on. What? Trying to get my real voice on. <laughs> it's okay to have your not real voice. It's okay to be that's sad. Your, that's your sad voice. It's okay. Did you know it's raining? Do you know why it's raining? Why? Because Malcolm, yesterday, um, he killed my daddy long leg. That's, yeah, why, it's that's why it's raining. Yep. You just want to stay out with Polar for a minute? Is that what's wrong? Do you miss him? 
I miss Polar. I miss Polar too. It makes me sad when I think about it. I'm sad that Polar's not with us anymore. Did you know it's okay to be sad, Gigo? You don't have to be happy all the time, you know? You want to put a, a new rock on Polar's grave? Should we do that? New okay, rock put down that there. one on the pile. That's oh, perfect. Right in the yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Do you remember when we when we buried Polar right here? And do you remember when we put the rocks on top to keep him safe? To make sure that nothing can mess with him? Do you see what happened? Has have any rocks been moved except for by us? That means he's nice and safe in there, right? And he's happy because guess what he's doing? <laughs> he's taking a really long nap. The naps are good, huh? He's just sleeping for a long time. Is that okay? It's sad though, because we don't get to see him, but we get to see him sometime, huh? It's okay. Look, look, it's okay. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, look. Okay, hold on you to it. You're gonna carry the rock. Okay, hold come on. on to it very tight. Okay. Tell Charlie, let's go. It's so sad to see those little feelings come back up and as, as Canyon's thinking about the, the day that we had to say goodbye. I don't know if you guys remember the video that we made that day. Beautiful video, by the way. Very sad. Um, but anyway, Canyon really avoided the whole situation for the most part until we came into this field. And then and then he got really sad. And then he started really understanding that he wasn't going to be able to see Polar again. And I think as soon as we came out here, he kind of had those feelings come back, as we all did. Um, and as we're older, we just we understand more to how to deal with those feelings or, or hide them for some. He just doesn't know how to deal with them, and so it's really sad to watch. It just broke my heart. And we don't understand. None of us understand, right? I just think as we get older, we think we understand, but we still don't understand what life is all about after death. We just, I think we get answers through religion and other ways and, and a little more understanding of life, but it's just such a mystery, and it, it makes us sad to, to maybe think that we might not see them again. Anyway, it's... There's such a spiritual tie between us all that I know, I know that uh, once the body is, is uh, done, I know that there's a, a spiritual connection there still. So our spirits are still connected with Polar. And I think that's what, what uh, Canyon was just feeling. It just breaks my heart. Hey, you see, remember how happy we are that Polar was our doggy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the best part. Yeah. And it's okay to be sad. It was a good, good job. It's okay to be sad. We're all sad. Everyone's sad. We miss Polar, huh? He was a good puzzle puzzle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say bye farm! Bye, bye farm. farm! Yay! That was fun. swim store and opened it just for us so we could get swimsuits because not only are they the best people ever mm -hmm. we need swimsuits and so we want to support rad swim in our swimsuits so there's a link in the description below you can go get a rad swim swimsuit and if you use the code yaoi 20 you get 20% off your entire purchase these are the best swimsuits ever. They're modest and they're super cute. They're adorable. They have so many different styles. They are adorable. We give them 77 million thumbs up. <laughs> I love it. 
What do you think? It looks great. I love it. Yeah. Do you like it? That's my favorite. Oh, that one is adorable on you. It's so cute. So cute. I love the color. <laughs> Oh, I love yellow. Cute. Cute. So cute. I was right at the wall. I, I love this one. I love that. the color of this one. Wah. Oh, I took cute. the yellow Liberty top and the Betsy cotton candy bottom. That's so cute. Yeah. Oh, I that's like adorable. This one. That one is so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We can all be twinners. I love that one. I do too. Now? Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> name's Liv and you are worth it. I am Vivian and you are worth it. I am Annabelle and you are worth it. I am Dawson and you are worth it. I am Molly and you are worth it. I am Samuel and you are worth it. I am Shelby and you are worth it. I am Nate and you are worth it. My name is Rachel and you are worth it. I am Chef and you are worth it. I am Jake and you are worth it. I'm Bert from Catch It and you are worth it. I'm TR. You're worth it. I'm Ella and you are worth it. I'm Dylan and this is Copper and you are worth it. I'm Caleb and you are worth it. You are worth it. <laughs>